the main event, the main attraction of the night for me. You feel me? Game of Thrones episode four. Got me twisted. Got me yelling at the TV like, what the fuck? I, I was looking forward to a calm lead up episode. We know we got a big war coming. Nope. Got to knock you out one more time before we do that. Yo, bro, there's so much stuff that was happening. First of all, let's start off with the um, the celebration. You feel me? And Danny hating on my son. Yo, she is getting on my nerves with this whole. I don't know. I mean, we 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 was talking about it before when we said about her and and the throne and how she's so fixated on that point. Even John telling her like, "Yo, I don't care about that shit." Is not enough. Nah, she she needs that. She a bozo. She got to get dealt with. She gone. She got to go. She got to go. She got to go, son. She gotta... what, what person in their rightful mind thinks that you can go into another war with your army still hurt? First and foremost, first and foremost, she tried to do that. You've seen what happened. You've seen what happened. She she lost a dragon. It's over. Bruh. She got one dragon left. One. 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 And, and, and that dragon not even 100% right now. Son, all right. So let, 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 first of all, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Danny hated, right? Boom. And then we fast forward. We see that um, later on, Jamie, he's, he's starting to make a move on, um, on, on Brian. We oh, and before that, before that, we, we got to talk about Lord Gendry. Lord oh, God, Gendry. Storm's end. You feel me? <laughs> he he got he, he had to take the good with the bad. <laughs> my son, my son, my son proposed to Aria, <laughs> and Aria said, "Y'all can't be tied down right now." Hey man, we uh, I've said it before. And I say it again. She's uh, not a girly girl. She don't do that shit. She's not a girly girl. She told him, "Yo, we we had our fun. You feel me? But I, I'm no lady. I'm no lady." Good love and joy. <laughs> My man was heartbroken. I told, I told, I told my chat. He said, he said it don't mean nothing. He said this whole thing don't mean nothing if I don't have you. Oh well, uh, about that. About that. Nah, <laughs> we can't, we can't, we play, we can't do that. I can't play, I can't play housewife. You feel me? I gotta go to King's Landing and handle my bitches. I gotta, I gotta finish my list. I gotta finish my list. And my right, let's talk about the list. That's a fact. My list can't be completed with me playing housewife, giving birth to your baby to Storm's End. It's not happening. I'm going to Cage Landing and finish my list. And that's it. If I come back to Winterfell, so be it. But I don't expect it. I expect to die in Cage Landing. She did, she, she did say that. So that's why she's moving with the hound. You feel me? But Gendry, I feel like he's going to follow her to King's Landing and play hero and get his dumb ass killed in the house Baratheon. That's how I feel. It might happen. So. And it would be another one of those situations. Like at this point, I'm I'm more worried about how far they're gonna go with trying to make us go crazy before the show is over. All right. Like so how that this this the way it's getting to the last well we got two episodes left like a it's fact. crazy but yeah so so going back go ahead we 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 just passed Gen- Genji's part I feel like I feel like this this season has been rushed so a lot of crazy things that we wouldn't we would not expect is bound to happen you feel me um with with the Game of Thrones episode four we still got a lot of stuff to unpack um let's go from there. So the fact that uh, uh, John Snow is like, "Ew, I don't want to touch you no more." <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> You're my aunt, and then uh, she don't care. She's, she's like, "Well, just don't think about it. Don't tell nobody." Danny's like, "What you talking about? What's wrong?" And John is like, "Ew, you my aunt. Like, we can't be doing this." So Danny's like, "She's so Targaryen. She's like." 
What you talking about? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we can still get. It's like, if you don't tell nobody, I won't. <laughs> saying, and John is like, nah, I grew up in the Starks. I grew up in the North. We don't do that in the North. We don't do kissing cousins or none of that. No incest. You feel me? So she's mad. She's tight. So she can't get no pipe from her, from John. Not to mention that now she got to worry about him and the secret going, um, pardon me, <clears throat> the secret coming out, him being act the actual heir to the throne. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a lot. It's about about that know, secret, I, too. Like, yo, yo, you seen that? Yo. <laughs> that shit was hell. hell. Like, that was an ill, that was so ill. He brought everybody to the tree. He was like, yo, I got a, I got a secret to tell y'all, yo. Um, y'all y'all swear? Y'all swear? And he looked at Brad, and Brad was like, it's your choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, I'm done. Not, not for nothing. That that that's where Sansa put herself back on my shit list of just... why the fuck do you do so much shit that pisses me <laughs> off? Like she ain't waste no time, bro. Her jealousy over Daenerys made her tell Tyrion. Out of all people. Yo, son. Her big mouth. <laughs> she, like, I get why. I mean, I, I keep saying it. I keep feeling more and more like Sansa's the one that's going to end up on the Iron Throne when it's all over. Like, she, she's been around the trickiest of the tricky people. Like, she knows how to scheme. She she's done everything. So at this point, she's the only one. Now think about that. All the people that can't fight have made it this far because of how they think. It's a fact. Tyrion made it this far. Littlefinger made it all the way up to where he got his throat slit because of her. Cause she schemed back on him all the schemes that that he taught her. Littlefinger died because he because he felt because you call it because of his love for the Stark Tullys. For his, for um Catelyn Tully and um Sansa Stark. That's why he that's why she died. My fault, that's why he died. You feel me? That's why he died. So Lord Barris made it this far because he has no emotion involved. He just thinks, like you said. You know I mean? For the realm. For the realm. Yo, son, in that throne room, you see, you you peeped it. Tiffany was like, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> So we don't really know how much power Barrett's got because the way that he was that Tyrion was looking at him when he was thinking it, like <laughs> yo, if she if, if she loses it, you gotta remember. Remember in season one when the wrath thing got word that um what you call it the talk uh what you call it when Danny uh the, when Danny when his word when word got out that Danny was pregnant. Yeah. Remember remember Robert was like Yo, if she give birth to a Targaryen boy, he got a rightful heir to this throne. No, yo, Lord Varys, deal with it. And then she, and what she called it, and that was when um Jor was um a double agent at the time. And what you call it, she almost drank that poison in Jor's yeah. life. Yeah, son. Like, yo, Lord Varys was working with not my fault. Jorah was working for Lord Varys. You see how real that was? You no, know, that's what I'm saying. You don't really know how powerful the, the uh, it's crazy, but the people that think are way more powerful than the guys that fight. That's a fact. That's a fact. They're the ones that really survived this law. Or it was Sam. Sam's fat ass that can't fight for shit. <laughs> man, man, he made it past the dead in the war. He wasn't even in the crypt. He was in the war, and him nigga still survive. This this what makes me like. This really makes me think. Like, yo, how did John get here? Like, how did John make it? <laughs> he, he, like, I'm like my, my nigga. John is the king of almost winning. That's the nigga. That's what he is. Yo, I don't know how he made it. Yo, son, like he made it through three wars. Think about that. He made it through three wars. Died. Came back, son. Like, yo, this is insane. And his come up was real. He was a bad. He he was he was a bastard being protected by Lord um his, his uncle. You know what I'm saying? Then he went to he, he took the black. Nice watch. You feel me? 
left the Night's Watch, banged out a wildin', got into his first war, you know what I'm saying, with the wildlands. <clears throat> uh, yeah, got into his, no, he ain't get to the war, my fault. He, uh, what you call it? He came back, he escaped, came back, you feel me? Told him, like, yo, there's about to be a war. You feel me? The guys are coming. Put the wildlands, boom, became the commander, died, become, died while being the commander. You feel me? Came back, fought the White Walkers. You feel me? Went back down south, or still the north, went back down south. You feel me? To, to, to fight Ramsey Snow, then took back Winterfell. Boom. Son, yo, this man been through a lot. A lot. I'm telling you, my word. I, I feel like all of that is going to be for him for shit to be fucked up at the end because I don't see him or Daenerys winning and I see Sansa doing that shit. Like, you got to remember, he's the king of almost getting it. If he if he would have lost to Ramsey, he would have lost to Ramsey if Sansa didn't pop up. He would have died on the other side of the wall if the dra- if, if Daenerys didn't show up with the dragon to survive to help him survive when they were stuck. And then he would have almost and he would have died. He would have almost died if uh, Arya didn't poke. Uh, didn't kill the Night King. <laughs> like, yeah, think about it. he he's literally the king of almost fucking dying multiple times. Yo! Like, I see that shit happening again at the end. Like that nigga's gonna he gonna be about to die. And then somebody just killed Daenerys. Yes. They, then they, they fucking help him survive. But Sansa ends up taking the fucking crown because he's too weak to be a king because the nigga been dying too much. Like, that's the shit. That, that's how the shit is going to end up, like, in an unexpected way. Because this whole time, we've been expecting that it's just been set up for Jon Snow to be the rightful king. But we see that this is going to go down to the wire. Like, Daenerys is not going to let that shit rock. And uh, and if the way things come full circle in the show, her turning into the Mad Queen would be full circle. No, be- full circle is if John got to kill her. Like that would be. A- no, you know it would be full circle if Jamie kills her. I mean, kid, the Queen Slayer now. Yes, I, 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 I don't see, I don't see it going down now. I see him killing Cersei. Mm, talk about it. See, you see, talk Jamie dipped it. off. He, he dipped off on poor Brienne right now after he took her tall ass virginity. <laughs> I, yeah, I think he was doing a couple pull ups. I think nah. he was doing a couple pull ups on, on the night's Brienne. Yo, son, I ain't gonna hold you, son. Yo, yo, huh? yo, Brienne, not uh, Sir, Bri- Sir Brienne crying. <laughs> One of the worst scenes I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Bro, uh, everything just... about that was gonna be awkward. I ain't nobody a hopeless romantic <laughs> enough to want to be happy to see one-handed Jamie and Sir Brienne go at it. <laughs> Especially after we just found out that she's a virgin at that. I was like, yo, HBO, please do not show any frontal nudity. Yep. I, 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 please shout out to HBO for that because I was so happy when that scene cut off right afterwards. And then when it came back, it was already covered up in the bed, so whatever. But we didn't have to see that. Yo, all we saw was her back. Thank you, HBO. Please, thank you. Thank you. That's the first. That's hey, the morning. Nobody need to see that. That shit was... Uh, but yeah, so we had that. <laughs> we, we had that happen. And, but after that, you know, he left and he said he was going back. So it's one of you- two things. He he's not gonna be under Cersei again. So I was like, "What well, was he going back for?" And not only him, but Arya and um the Hound, the the, the Hound are going back. So and you know the Hound is going back because he got to kill the Mountain. Well, that's a fact. So, that that one off so, going down. That one off. I can't. If there's any fight that I really, really outside of the Night King getting killed, which already didn't happen as as the, as the way we wanted it to. Because everybody wanted to see a sword fight between him and Jon Snow. We didn't get that. If we didn't get that fight, can we please at least get the bone smashing, head breaking, somebody's going to fucking disappear after this fight, Mountain versus the Hound. I think Hound is going to get his ass whooped. I think he's going to get washed. 
but I think that Arya again is gonna save the day. I really think that she goes because you know the, the one. Up, that, it, it, I mean, he's not even human no more. That nigga's a fucking whatever he is. Zombie, son. He's a zombie, but. That zombie's still, a, you know what I mean? He's still a human. He's still, a, he's still alive. Technically, technically. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like all of you are going to, gonna, because um, I think the mountain's on the list. The mountain is on the list. So is she going to wind up killing, you know what I'm saying, killing the mountain? You feel me? And I think she's going to kill Cersei too. Cersei got a lot of people that I could take her head off right now, but. <laughs> The way that she be getting through the show, like that they, they, they keep us dragged with it, is that the people we want to die never really die right away. But when they do die, it's always in one of the greatest ways ever. So I look forward to seeing Xerxes get her throat slit and be spitting out throw up because she's poisoned at the same time. That will that will be fire. And then you add to the you add to the list of people that want to um people that want to uh, kill Cersei Grey Worm. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. You to bring it up, Grey Worm. To, to, if anybody I could think that could do this vile thought in my head, you forgive me for I have sinned, but this shit would sound crazy. Xerxes is pregnant. What if niggas cut her stomach out and her baby just drops? <laughs> like, that would be crazy. That would be out of crazy. all the crazy scenes that we've seen in the show, I mean, I don't think they take it that far, but hey, we've seen worse as shit. But that would be some wild shit if for the last scene, Cersei's stomach get ripped open and a baby just fall out. Blah. That'll be wild. That'll be wild. But I, I think that Grey Worm is so tight right now that he'll probably be motivated to do that right now. So, yeah, bro. I, we've seen what he, what, how, how much he's done for just his queen, but he's never cared about shit. You take away the one thing that he cares about. And you do it in front of his face. Yo, I was watching the Styles P interview and it was recapping the Game of Thrones and he brought up the best point. He said, yo, he lost a woman that wanted to make love with him and he has no camera. Like, bro. Yo, and she initiated it, and she was into it, yo, and she... He's never going to find that. Yeah. He, know, he knows it's over after that, bro. He got nothing to live for right now. That man is going to do whatever it takes to kill the people that killed Masande. And then Masande, she was like... The, the, um, Cersei asked her, you got any last words? She said, Dracarys. You know what that means. She yeah, burned like, all these motherfuckers alive. He bitch, you better avenge me, bitch. The fuck, you better avenge me, bitch. I'm, but and that's the thing, though. That's I'm kind of conflicted with it because I feel like if she's gonna do it, she should have been did it. Like if she's really gonna go into King's Landing and just burn the whole shit down, she should have did that shit the first time she had all three dragons there. That's a fact. Like you really waited till you lost everything and then burned the place down anyway. At the time, you gotta understand it was bad advice, Tyrion. Tyrion gave her yeah. the. You feel me? She he said, "Yo," and, and he's the one that was there that caused the last shit. Like at this point, I, I'm surprised that Tyrion's even still with her. Facts. At this point, she he she ain't listening to Tyrion. It's over. That she she the hand. Yo, you're not the hand no more, son. Like you're not the hand. You need to give that pin up. Get the pin up. Pass it to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody. That, nobody. She's not gonna listen to nobody right now. She she. She hell bent on revenge. She's taking all the soldiers and they marching to King's Landing. End the story. She's not hearing none of that. She going on a rampage. This weekend is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a crazy one. Out of all these episodes, this gonna be your favorite one. <laughs> it's gonna be serious, bro. Like I said, we already didn't get. I, I feel like we didn't get what we wanted to get out the last war officially. Like we got, we got to see some dope. Scenes, but for one, it was too dark, and for two, it didn't finish the way we wanted it to finish. This one is gonna be in broad daylight, you know that. You're gonna be in broad day, yo. Your man, you're on, son. His come up is crazy. Oh my god, I hate that motherfucker with a passion, but bro, when it, out of all the people that did it, he did it. 
Then they, they got mad ships with giant arrows, my nigga. How are you gonna fucking avoid that, bro? I don't know how they. Ca- First of all, we had this conversation. Uh, uh, not us, but we had a conversation in the group, in our group chat, and where we was like, "Yo, how the hell did the Naris not see those boats pulling up?" Like, <laughs> You down? Yeah, how that, bro? Yeah. But what, you, she had Theon's sister. Like she didn't even go to Theon's sister to get help from them. Like she had all those people that she knew from the other lands that she could have went and got. Nothing. She just pulled up with whatever she had left from after fighting the Night King. She's bogged out. She's like, "Yo, we out, we out." And it was funny because remember that scene? There was in the throne. There was in the room, and everybody looking at John like. You ain't gonna say nothing, and he was like, "Yo, we gotta, we gotta do what the queen says." Yo, right after that, Sons and Arya was like, "Yo, we need to talk." Yeah, facts. Like, yo, you, you pussy with me now. Let me highlight you. Let me highlight you, John. You wildin'. You wildin'. Let me highlight you. You bugged out. And remember that too. Out. John and them don't even know what happened yet. That's a fact. That's a fact. They still, they were still at Winterfell. It's about to be crazy. And, and, and I gotta give a big fuck you to John real quick. Apologies, but not apologies for not petting my nigga Ghost before you gave him away. Word. Word. You, you just gonna give Ghost away and not pet Ghost? That was cool. First of all, shout out to Ghost. Ghost made it back. Like I told everybody, Ghost was not done. He was like, yo, I'm busting that Yui. And I'm out. Turn around. Yeah. I'll be right back. But the nigga, my nigga made it back just for John to be like, you know what? I'm going to have to leave you, bro. That's disrespectful, John. Chasing after Daenerys, you going to leave Ghost? That was- he couldn't even leave Ghost in Winterfell. He said he, he gave him, I mean, I'm happy he gave him the term on. I ain't mad, you know, because that's my guy. But still, like, I felt I felt like that was some bitch shit. I don't know. Me too. I felt I felt a little, I felt a certain way. I mean, like Ghost. He, he dropped the last he dropped time. loyal Ghost. Yeah, bro. He dropped the the loyal direwolf to chase after Daenerys, who's about to get them all killed. That direwolf, son. That's the direwolf that ultimately saved you, son. Like he, what you call it? He was the one that sniffed out the White Walker back in um Castle Black. Yeah. Help save um what you call it? What's his name? Um. Command the Mormont at the time. Yeah, when, when he first seen him in the room, that big ass fucking bald headed zombie looking motherfucker. Exactly, son. So it's like you can't you you gonna do him like that? You gonna do ghosts like that? That's crazy. I have to let that out, man. That would hurt my heart. You can't just leave ghosts crazy. like that, bro. That's crazy, son. That is wild. That is wild, man. But yo, episode five is gonna be nuts. I can't wait. Everybody, please, please. We're going to give y'all, f- I'm going to give people 48 hours to watch that episode. Because at the end of the day, you have it on HBO Go and everything. But after that, we just drop in the recap. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We're not yeah, sure. I mean, we, we drop it to, uh, by Wednesday. So you got two days to, to watch this shit. So when we drop on Wednesday and that recap drop, I can't say we drop the spoilers. Exactly. It's too late, my friend. You're clearly not a fan if you haven't seen it by Tuesday. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Remove yourself from the Game of Thrones list. You know what I'm saying? Go with yes, the... You're, you're, you're just a... Re- you're not a regular. You're not one of us. You're not one of us. You, you know what I mean? You're, you're basic. You're basic. You're a novice. You're, you're green. You're a neophyte. You know? <laughs> you're green. You're green. You're green. You feel me? But... I feel that is the episode two of I Hate Battle Rap. You feel me? Tune in next week where we are discussing Game of Thrones. Um, I would like to discuss the X-Men Phoenix uh, movie that's coming out this summer as well. Um, Battle Rap Entourages. We're going to talk about it. Battle Rap Entourages. And we got to talk about Oh Solo the Pioneer. The Pioneer. The one that brought one nigga, that brought two niggas, that brought two niggas, that bring four. Four niggas bring five niggas. Five niggas bring more. And more is the motherfucking culture. 
That's right. That's right. Uh, you can catch this on True Stories Radio on YouTube and on all podcasts. You can just search Dutch KIB and you'll see I Hate Battle Rap pop up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, if anybody has music or beats that y'all would want us to play during the breaks, feel free to email them at custommademenace at gmail.com or hit me up or Dutch on Facebook. I'm Custom Made Menace on Facebook. You can hit Dutch on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We got, we're trying to put on for the people. If y'all got music and y'all got beats, hit us up. We're going to put them on the breaks. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So signing off, your boy Dutch KIB. Custom Made Menace. And I hate battle rap. Definitely do it. Yeah.